What internal pressure can be sustained by a glass tube and by a glass spherical flask? If the thickness of the glass is delta R and radius of tube and flask both is R. Now we, we need to get the answer in terms of breaking stress of glass that is sigma B. So the forces on this half glass tube or this hemispherical glass shell we need to balance and the forces will be of two kinds so one will be due to the gas pressure that is delta p into a and second will be due to the stress on the glass itself that will be sigma into a so this a is different than this a so we need to balance these two forces so one due to pressure and one due to stress in the material so let's take the cylinder cylinder first so we'll break it into half cylinder and you can see now that the upward force on the cylinder is due to the extra pressure inside the cylinder so that will be delta p into area and area will be length into 2r delta p into l into 2r so this is the force due to excess pressure inside the tube and now the other force that is due to the material so there is stress in this material which is preventing this uh, this hemispherical tube to fly away so that pulling force is coming from the stress in the material so we need to find the maximum value of that so let's assume that it has reached its maximum stress that is sigma b so our force will be sigma b into area and this time area will be of the cross section of the material because stress is in the cross section of the material only so what is that area so thickness is delta r and length is l so on this side it is l into delta r and on this side also it is l into delta r so net force due to stress in glass is sigma b into 2 times l into delta r now since this uh, this uh, tube is at rest forces are equal so delta p into l into 2r is equal to sigma b into 2l delta r which gives delta p is equal to sigma b delta r into upon small r so this is the maximum amount of pressure this tube can sustain now let's consider half sphere which is made of the why should i should write hemisphere yeah so let's consider hemisphere same material and same thickness so this time the the upward force due to the pressure inside will be delta p into pi r square and downward force due to the stress will be sigma b into cross sectional area that is 2 pi r delta r so again we will balance the forces and we'll get delta p to be 2 sigma b delta r by r so you can compare the two and see that clearly a spherical vessel can sustain double the pressure than a cylindrical vessel right